Hey everybody, welcome back to Stamping School. I've got uh, new stuff to show you that's coming out May 1st in the annual catalog. I've got a big card using a big embossing folder. Imagine my surprise when I unpacked my order and saw this thing. So cool, it's so big. It's six by eight and a half. There's a couple of them in there that size. So it's nice because we can make a nice big five by seven card and have the whole thing embossed. We'll be making that. But I want to show you these dies, which we're using. So this is a bundle. In my opinion, you could do with just the dies. I mean, it's a very nice stamp set. It's very nice. There's no dies that cut this out at all. So you just stamp it, which is really pretty, called Spotlight on Nature. So I think this is, um, if you buy them individually, this is 23 and this is these are 35. These are really cool though. So I really, there's 12 of these. And what's cool about them is that even though these are all the same sizes, they're different patterns. So when you layer them together, they're always gonna look good. And, and they won't like look all matchy matchy all the way down. So for instance, like this big one is three and seven eighths. See, so you get one that's the stitches, the radiating stitches this way and the little floral pattern. And then the next one is three and a quarter, oops, three and a quarter right here and three and a quarter. And then the next one down is two and three quarters. So you see how this one has the stitches now and this one has like the little slots, two and three quarters. Two and an eighth goes back to the radiating stitches. And this one goes back to the little flower, two and an eighth. So they layer so nice. And this one, this one will go back to the flowers, one and five eighths here. And then a little bitty one inch one, which would go here and here. Oh my gosh, so many different possibilities. It's gonna be fantastic. And you can even layer them together to make opens, open circles, you could do shaker cards. So if you want more circles and you want them to not just be stitched circles to be a little different, then these are kind of fun. Now let's start with this jumbo folder that surprised me. When you go to the annual catalog and you look at the embossing folder, there's no sizes. So it was a surprise when this came out. And I think that's a miss because I feel like Everybody has different size machines and you kind of want to know what size things are before you buy them. I thought you could tell by the price because this is a 3D embossing folder. It's one of the thick ones and it's $12. But then there's another big one that's only $10.50. This one, it's the So Swirly. It's the same size. However, it's not the 3D embossing folder. It's just the regular one. So and it's 1050, so I don't, I don't know. You're gonna have to go online. You're gonna have to ask me what size this is, if you like it, or you're gonna have to go online to the Stampin' Up! store, and it has all the dimensions and everything for each item. So that's kind of a little bit of a bummer, but it was a really fun surprise to see this. And I thought, ooh, now we can make a whole card front bigger, which is what I did with this one. So I wanted to do dots for days. I wanted a lot of dots. So I wanted to emboss, 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 emboss. So I think it came out pretty. I started with a five by seven white card and then I embossed in this pretty new shy shamrock green color for all the dots. I hope you can, there you go. Hope you can kind of see that, isn't that cool? There is a registration line on here, which is nice, but I really wanted that bullseye in the center. So I put my cardstock in this way and it worked out really well for the five by seven size to put that right along the bottom. There's that line, like a printed line on the folder. And then just sort of made sure that it was centered. And I wanted that right there in the center for the card. And so I ran that through. Because it's a 3D embossing folder, you wanna make sure you have the number four or that crystal clear blue specialty thing. You're going to run that through your machine. Because it's six inches wide, it's going to fit through most big machines, but just check 
your opening to make sure. So this, this is six by eight and a half inches. So I ran that through twice. I just love this fresh green color. I just love it. All right, we're gonna put this on the white. Now I'll show you what I did for the inside on the card and I thought, ooh, it might be a little bit too much. I'll show you. So I did the pretty new color Petunia Pop on the inside and it might be a little much. Might be a, might shock people when they open it. So I'm gonna do the same green on the inside of this. And you can just leave it white, of course, if you want to. Um, sometimes the paper tears and goes up in here. So I usually put the tape here, but that one did okay. So this is cut down to four and three quarters by six and three quarters. I'll put the measurements for you in the PDF. Okay, inside, outside. All right, let me bring this over so you can see it. For this layer right here, now this is the largest one, three and seven eighths. I ran it through and cut it and then I embossed it. I ran it through the folders again. You don't have to, but I thought, ooh, all that texture is kind of cool. So I just kind of positioned it perfectly right there, closed it, and ran it through. And I like how it came out. So that will go right in the center. And then the next layer, I did shaded spruce. Um, I love these two colors together, the Shy Shamrock and the Shaded Spruce. And so I also cut out a few sprigs. I did one in the white glitter paper and one in shaded spruce. And this comes from the texture floral. That's where I got my flowers and the dyes for this one. And I could do birthday blooms for you in the middle, but I grabbed a different stamp set for the middle, which I'll show you. All right, so next step, I'm just gonna put a little glue down here and put my sprig right there. And then, then my green piece, this is the one I cut in the shaded spruce. Right. And that goes right in the middle. And then I did this one, kind of layered it right here. And then I'll show you how to stamp the flowers. If you're doing the, the textured floral flowers, there's a little trick with the ink. So I wanna show you that. And I did it a long time ago, but it's a good time to be a refresher on some of these solid stamps. So I was just gonna do this color on, on the front and then I stuck my finger in the ink and then I just, I really like the pop of that dark color. So I'm gonna use layering leaves. So happy to celebrate you. I love these big graphic greetings in this and this is carrying over, which is great. So that's gonna go right here. So happy to celebrate you. Let that dry a second. All right, let's do these flowers. This textured floral set is a really great set. It's got the dyes that go with it, but it can be really tricky to get these looking right if your ink pads are too inky. And when they're brand new like this one, the Petunia Pop, which is brand, one of the brand new ink colors, oh goodness, it's almost so juicy that it looks all blotted. I'll show you what happens. It's just too... It's too new, right? So what you wanna do is scoot your ink over just a little bit for just these solid ones. And I use a block. You see people using their bone folders? No, don't do that because that ink does not come out of your bone folders very well and then it could transfer on your paper. Use one of your clear blocks. Don't do something like a credit card because that's too hard on these pads. See how it lightens it? Can you see? It's, I'm just scooting the ink over. We don't wanna blot the pad and lose our ink. We just wanna scoot it over a little bit temporarily and we can always scoot it back, right? So now with a little bit less ink, let me show you. It gives you that pretty textured look that it's supposed to have. It's supposed to be a little light and a little dark, so you decide. But I'm gonna do the same thing with the green. And then before I clean this off, I'm gonna scoot my ink back. <laughs> just because the next time I might want it as a greeting or something. So I'm just gonna scoot it back. And you're not wasting much ink. It's just a little bit right here on the edge and just rinse that off or wipe it off. I just take it to the sink and rinse them off. And the Shy Shamrock. 
this one I'd already scooted over a little bit, so. Okay. Now there are dies for these in that texture floral kit, which is nice. I thought I would try different colors too of flowers. So I can try that color. That's the new peach pie. This is the new pretty in pink. That's pretty nice too. This almost looks like freesia, which is very close. Let's try this one maybe. Let's try the peach. Right. Now I'm gonna add my sentiment and just put dimensionals over on one side because I wanna be able to tuck the flowers in. But I wanna get this in first. All right, so do we like the pink? Do we like this one? I'm going back to the pink. So I'm just taking a little bit of yellow and just adding some dots right inside the flower. Right. Putting a dimensional on the back here and then sliding it in right there. So that's why you wanna put the dimensionals just on one side to kind of figure out where you wanna put these. This layout would work for any flowers that you have, I think. I'm just gonna tuck these under there. Okay, and then you need some gems and things like that around. We've got some a lot of new in-color gems coming out, which would be fun on May 1st. If you wanted to add like a little twine bow, you can. I kind of like that it's just on the one side if I add that, it almost seems a little too much, so I'm just gonna leave it alone. And then on the inside, I think I'll change this to the green and move this over, over here on this side before I take the picture. But I stamped a few of the smaller flowers. Every thought of you makes me smile. That one is in the textured floral. So it's pretty and stamped it on the big and I have got a little bit of room to write something if I need to. I think this is a little better. A little less shocking when you open the card. Okay, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. See it, learn it, stamp it.